What's up everybody? So today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get a unique record URL dynamically in each of your records. That way say you're doing a Zapier automation you can pull that in since it doesn't have all the great functionality that an Airtable one does. Uh, Airtable automation. If you haven't met me before my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners with problems just like this. We help them with Airtable for a asset management or a CRM, Asana for project management, Slack for communications, and Zapier to really connect everything together. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link in the description, but without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. So over here, I've already started this. I haven't started building the formula or building really any of this, but I have started this. And the first thing that I went in here and did is this formula is going to be based on whichever table you are in. So if we go look at a record URL for any of these and we make this as big as we can, so it's acting a little funny here, but if we keep making this bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, we want to pick a view actually where there's probably not any filters. The reason being is because if you were to have a URL um, that was in a view, which you can see, I believe this is the view right here. This is the view ID. Uh, if you were to open that into a view where it was filtered out, then it probably wouldn't work very well. But what you want to do to start off is you just want to come up here and right click on any record in the table in the view that you're trying to create this in and copy the record URL. So once you do that, you can so like I'll come in here and copy this record URL and then what you want to do is you want to customize your field type and change it from just a single line text or whatever it is now to a formula and you want to type in concatenate in here. So what concatenate is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to pull together multiple different text strings into just one. So to tell Airtable that you're starting off with a text string because keep in mind you can also do dynamic data which means that like based on the other fields in the record, it can pull in something that changes for each record. So like I could pull in the trigger for bulk action, which is this gate field right here. So I could pull in that, but I'm not going to. So you want to pull in, start pulling in a string. So you want to put a quote and then paste your string and then another quote. But what you want to do after that is you want to come in here and delete the record ID. So you'll know it's a record ID because it starts with REC. So you'll come in here and delete that. And then now you'll come in here and put another comma and put a record ID. So this record ID, that's all you should have to put in there and you should just be able to click save. So now you can see it re-added the REC and then the rest of the record ID. So now if I were to click on any of these and maybe share this view, so if I created a shareable good view link, then I could, now now I should be able to view these. We'll see if it allows me to over here. Or if this opens up, it will open up right to this link right here. It will right, open up right to that record. So let's make sure that I, Wolf, R, <coughs> Wolf RFI was the one that we were trying to open up into. And so that's perfect. Now say we come down here and we wanted to open up this guy. Uh, that is all, should also be perfect. And the beauty of this is what you can do with this when you export this into a Zap. So maybe you're integrating with Asana or ClickUp. Now you can pull in the record level information, uh, just or just ideally just a link to that record, and put that in your set like the sub information, the meta description of your task in Asana. That way when you're looking at a task, you can just go click right there or say you're emailing yourself something or you're at sending something in Slack uh, with a Zapier integration. This makes it really easy to just pull in that URL into the message, into the description, into wherever. So if you enjoyed this formula tutorial, you'll probably enjoy this one right here. It is very similar to this, except it is how to write a formula to pre-fill a form that makes it dynamic. So we made this one dynamic by changing the record ID based on whichever record it's firing off of. But this one right here teaches you all about how to build a pre-filled form URL with an Airtable formula. So I highly encourage you to go check out this end screen right here. But without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.